It is time for a light gun buying guide episode. Those are some of the best videos we've put out on the channel. Yes. People seem to love them, and today it's all about the Sega Dreamcast. Oh, this episode has been a long time in the making, too. We've been diving into light gun games like crazy lately. Yep. We just did a Saturn light gun buying guide, and now we're doing a Dreamcast light gun buying guide. The Dreamcast has a lot less games to offer, so this will be a shorter episode, yep. but there's more stuff to talk about, maybe in the gun aspect and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, so the first thing you're gonna need, obviously, if you're going to get retro, is a CRT TV. Yep. They take up a lot of space, but I don't mind them. They're kind of expensive, but you can probably find them, or if you know a friend that has like an old relative, they might just give you one for free. Yeah, and I, I think people overhype, in my opinion. Like when they say I don't have space, they're too heavy, they're too big, they're too bulky. It's like, it's bulky, but I can Consider it carry on. You can get a 13 inch, 20 inch TV that will suffice to allow you to do these type of things. Now, you know, in our setup, we have like the 34, 36 inch Trinitron. Yeah, you're gonna blow out. You're not sacked yeah, trying to lift that thing. It sucks moving. Luckily, we're not moving it ever again. Yeah, <laughs> but um, you can get a small one, and the smaller it is, the better it's gonna look. Dude, it's gonna look incredible. I think you're running a 20 inch one that like has a handle on it. Yeah, like you can just scoop yeah, and score. So, and then you can just put it in the corner, put yeah. it on the table. It's super nice. So that's the first thing you're gonna need. And since it's light guns, you gotta make sure that it is not HDMI ready. Yes. Because there are some mod modern-ish CRTs that have HDMI compatibility, which is great if you're playing like Xbox yeah. 360 on it, but not if you're trying to do Lycan games because it's not gonna work. Yeah, those TVs I've always thought are super versatile for a retro gaming setup if you don't have space to have a flat screen TV, because then you can run modern stuff on, yes. on your TV and it still looks really good but you do sacrifice the light. Yeah, you can't do the light gun. And mm -hmm. I'm gonna get out of the way because we're already gonna get comments. We got one of the first comments we got on the Sega Saturn one was like, well, I'll just mod my console and do all and get the ROM. We understand. We understand you can mod the console. We understand you can download the ROMs. You yep. can you can play with a Sindin light gun and all this stuff. You can play these on your PC. We get it. But this is for true collectors and people that want to actually collect the physical media and play on original hardware. OGs. Yeah. This is for the OG collectors that, that are out there. I think people that do like emulating, though, could get some knowledge potentially out yes. of this video. There is but knowledge to be had. We are gearing it towards that niche community that's like, I want to do it old school. So once you get a CRT, then you need a console. You need a Sega Dreamcast. Yeah. And I highly recommend the Sega Dreamcast. It's Gen 6. I love Gen 6. There's so many amazing games for the Dreamcast. And Dreamcast, you can get for fairly cheap. You could probably find one for about 100 bucks on eBay. Look for bundles. If you do look, you might be able to find like on bundles. Yeah. So that's really cool, too. There is an SD card mod for the Dreamcast yes, as well. Yes, which is cool. As long as you don't HDMI mod the console, you can get games for the Dreamcast that way as well. Now, it is worth noting that the Dreamcast is region locked. Yes. And we're going to talk about games that are only in Japan and PAL region games because we're going to talk about everything. Yep. So if you get a North American Dreamcast, you're not going to be able to play them. There are ways, there are workarounds. Yeah, good I discs, I think a Game Shark disc. Yeah, um, there are ways there to are do couple, it, or yeah. you could just get, like you could you could ROM it to get the games, or get like a region free Dreamcast, or yeah. get a Dreamcast from the certain areas. Just so I'm just warning you, if you get a North American Dreamcast and you say you want to get one of these Japanese only like end games, it won't work. Well, one thing I about the Dreamcast, kind of going down a, a, a rabbit hole here, but I, I do hear a lot from people that will say, well, it doesn't have that many good games. And it's like, <sighs> pause, <laughs> pause, 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 pause. Do you understand how short of a time the Dreamcast was out? And if you put that in perspective, I like right now, I, I'm just going to say, I, I, this is probably going to get somebody pissed off. I would take the Dreamcast library right now up against the PS5 library and say, how you doing? Yeah, 100%. The amount of games that came out in such a short window. And you mentioned it's going to be a shorter video. I think there's only five games, right? Six games, six, I think. Six yeah. games. But that's like in a year and a half to two years. Yeah, right? it was only around nine nine ninety nine, and then it was bought, gone by two thousand one. Yeah, like the console was not around for that long. So there's there's a decent amount of lighting games, and then a, a fantastic library. I love the Dreamcast. That's a whole. We've done other videos on it. The games are fantastic. Yeah, but this video, I love the Dreamcast. I recommend you have a Dreamcast. But do I recommend you have a Dreamcast for light gun games? Now we have to talk about that aspect. Yeah, because, I mean, we're going to talk about is it worth it at the end, because it there's other consoles that work a lot better. And we just did the Saturn one, and the Saturn one it works amazing. Yeah. So before we jump into all of that, yeah, you have the console, you have the TV, you're going to need the guns. So they're in, in North America, they never released an official um, licensed Dreamcast gun. But there's a third-party one that's 
officially uh, Dreamcast, yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah, so they officially licensed with Mad Cats. Yes. This gun right here. My humble opinion, this is the best light gun yes. for the North American Dreamcast. I don't know the, the whole backstory, but I believe the uh, the lore out there is that uh, there was a school shooting um, and, and, man, horrible stuff, yeah. right? That was... Um, a time where that type of stuff seemed to be popping off. Evil was getting its uh, getting its way. Uh, but anyway, that made Sega say, hey, I'm not going to put a, an official light gun out in North America. Well, these people are like, well, I got light gun games, though. Yeah, so what are we going to do? Play, yeah. This was the answer. There is officially licensed Sega Dreamcast light guns in other regions. In other regions, but not in North America. So we have the Mad Cats one. Highly recommend the Mad Cats one. It is incredible. The Mad Cats is going to run you about <laughs> 60, 70 bucks a pop per, but you can probably yeah. find bundles. There are two other guns that we have that we should talk about. There is a Pelican Lycan and then an Interact Starfire Lycan. Yeah. So talk about the pelican one yeah these guns are cool all three of these guns we've tested and tried and they all feel great like in the hand they feel yeah great. so this pelican one which i actually think there was a pack in with like house of the dead two pack or something oh yeah like yeah, yeah, that yeah with this but there's nothing inherently wrong with this game i do think that it it, it performs a little worse than the mad cats one I just don't like this spongy ass trigger. No, I, the Pelican and the Interact one have a spongier trigger, and I only like if you just had this gun, you probably wouldn't notice. But I was going back and forth between the Mad Cats, yeah. so I, the Mad Cats felt more precise. The gun, I do like that the gun you can put two hands on it. That's kind of nice. And, well, and what's cool about this front trigger yes, on both of these. On both so of these here's guns, the Interact one as yeah, well. Yeah, both these guns. There's a front trigger for reload, so you can flick your fingers back and forth like you're playing pinball, but that's reloading. So instead of going doo 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 doo, you're going yeah. You know, I, I would say if if you found these guns, uh, this Interact gun is a, is another one. You know, and there are settings on the side for you know auto reload, um, yep. all that stuff. But I got this game uh, with my Dreamcast at a, at a thrift store, and this was the gun I used to beat House of the Dead Two for the first time by myself. You know, and it works fine. Yeah, but I think the Mad Cats one is better. The Mad Cats one is more expensive, and I think it's easier to calibrate the Mad yes, Cats one. Yes, which we'll get into that when we yeah. get into the games. But uh, the Interact and the Pelican guns are a little bit cheaper. Yeah. So if you're on a budget, it might be worth going down that rabbit hole. But I would recommend the Mad Catch. The Mad Catch yep. felt great on every single game that we tried. So it's Which, it's awesome. The guns feel very... The, the, the Mad Cat guns feel like the quality is there. I know when you mention Mad Cats and you're at the late 90s, early 2000s, like, people's <laughs> brains like, oh my god, not them. Third party. But it's officially this, licensed. This, this feels really good, it's, And I love that on all of them, there's a place for the VMU, so that's really cool for saving and yeah. there's a little screen. Yeah. That's pretty badass. So now, once you got the gun, once you got the console, once you got the CRT, now you got to jump into the games. And before we even talk about the games, I will say that playing light gun games on the Sega Dreamcast is a pain in the ass. It, it, it is not going to, it's it's going to, you're going to get really frustrated because calibration on every single one of these games sucks. Yeah. And the best, the best way that we found to get calibration to work is to turn your brightness up all the way on your TV. Yep. So it kind of washes out the game. Make sure the lights are dim in your room and be right next to the TV. On like the Saturn one, we can be comfortably be in our chairs and play great. But for the Dreamcast, we had to be like at the arcade, well, like standing it, in front of the TV it, for it to work. It, it's it's worth noting too that you may be sitting there thinking, well, it's your TV. No, we tested this on multiple TVs. We have multiple CRTs. We brought in a, a, tw or a 20 inch TV. We've tried it on a, another Trinitron. Yep. We tried it on our our bottom Zenith TV. Yep. These issues have persisted. So it's not just the so, TV. And more, and to the point, our PS1, PS2 light gun games and our Saturn light gun games have been played on this exact same TV and we've had no issues. And no issues and you don't have to be super close. Yeah. But it does feel more like you're at the arcade. So it, it kind of sucks because you can't be comfortable. You're going to be right next to your TV. That's the best way you're going to get it. And that's, that's how we got every game to work. Because when we were first trying and playing these games, we were like, do any of these games work? Like, we're not going to be able to, because we were trying to play yeah. all the way back here. And we sit, frustrated. What, I don't know, what would you say? Five set, feet five, away? Six not feet even away that from, far yeah. away. Like, basically, where the camera is, that's where the TV <laughs> yeah. is. So, that's a little frustrating, and then calibration sometimes takes a while. Even with the Mad Cats. It's not just, like, for the Saturn one, it's because it's fresh in my mind, I keep bringing it up, but Saturn, there were games where sometimes you didn't even have to calibrate. Yeah. And it worked amazing. Good, good luck. The yeah. Dreamcast, you have to, and it sucks because I love liking games and I love the Dreamcast, but I'm just telling you how it is. It's kind of rough. It's kind of Magoo. Magoo! <laughs> but once you get it to work, then it's fun, and then you yeah. can start playing the games. <laughs> The first
first game on our list is one of our favorite Lycan games ever, and that's House of the Dead 2. Such a good port of this game. Oh, it looks incredible. Um, there is another really good way to play this at home on another console where it's an unlockable, yep. um, which will be another Lycan episode that we OG do. OG Xbox! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but at the time, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this port. The stuff Robert said about calibrating, I would say that House of the Dead 2 is the easiest game on the console to calibrate, but the issues Robert spoke to still, still exist apply. here. They apply to every game. Still apply uh, to every single game, but this is the best of the bunch yes. as far as that goes. It's, it's Dude, House of the Dead 2, a fantastic arcade port. One of my favorite Lycan games in the arcade mm -hmm. is House of the Dead 2. But this they game, added the, the uh, what's it called? Like regular yeah, mode? Yeah, so or? there's there's two modes. There's arcade mode and then original mode. Yeah. Arcade is basically the arcade port. Yep. It's fantastic. And then original mode is for the Dreamcast and it's freaking, it's fantastic. So in original mode is how you get perks. It's how you get add-ons, extras. and what's Different cool, guns? Different guns. Yeah. You, can, you can find upgrades. You can find different outfits for the characters. Yeah. There's a bunch of different things you can do, and you find that stuff just by playing the game, and then you unlock it. And what's really cool is there's perks, so when you start the level and you've unlocked perks, you can be like, okay, well, maybe I'll make it so my clip size is increased by two, or maybe I'll make it so my gun's more powerful. Yep. And that just applies. Or get an extra credit. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really nice, and it's really cool. It's a fun way to play it, and then there's also the arcade mode. And then yep. what's also cool is there's boss mode. So you can just do like a boss crawl, basically. If you play House of the Dead 2 on the Wii with House of the Dead 2 and 3 Returns, it's very similar to that. You yep. got all the perks and the boss crawls and all that. It's incredible. I love it. It's so yeah. good. And I think it's a must-own Dreamcast game. That being said, there there is a little bit of nuance yes. to get in the guns. And there is gun bundles for House of the Dead 2 for the Dreamcast in Japan and PAL regions and in North America. I think it was the Pelican gun. Was... But in North America, if you're trying to find that, good luck. I think it's super rare mm -hmm. because even on eBay, we couldn't even find it. Yeah. But on price charting, it says it exists. Yeah. So <laughs> it is cool that that offered. Um, so that, I just love House of the Dead and it, it looks great on the freaking Dreamcast. And then we have a game called Confidential Porn. I mean, yes. Confidential Mission. Confidential yeah. Porn is a spy game, very James Bond-esque. Yeah. This game is really good, and this game took us a while to calibrate as well, and in order to get this, this is the settings that we use for our TV, so it might be different for you, but in order to get this game to play the best, yeah. and I, I'm gonna say it's not even still 100, to play the best is you have to go to the settings and increase the hit zones to extra large, which seems like it's cheating, but trust me, yeah. that's the best way to, you're gonna get it, and then you gotta decrease your screen size. Yes. So decrease it to like maybe half of what your TV is in order to, cause even with the Mad Cats gun and even with calibration, this game still struggled. And I was like, and I was like frustrating because it looks great and it could be an awesome game, but it just, uh, and even with all that, 90%. Yeah. It's, it's still not, Perfect. I, I love the game. I love the campiness. It's traditional light gun. But to your point, there is something going on in this game that I've always thought, and I've had this game for a really long time. It's like the game, I feel like, as you're playing it, is continually adjusting itself. It's kind of lassoing. Yes, yeah. I, that's what I feel like. Yes. Is, is it wants, it knows what you should be shooting at. So then it like almost, because here's why I know this. The first mission, your gun can be so dialed it's in. Perfect. And from there, it, the, the quality of your aim just degrades down. Yes. And by the time you get to the third or fourth, it, it's like dog shit, man. It sucks. And it, it, dude, we've tried it on different TVs, yeah. different calibrations, and even with like extra hit sizes and decreases size, we got it the best it could be, not 100%. Yeah. It's just so frustrating because I think, like, it, you're hit, sitting here and you're hitting a guy perfect, you don't move at all, but then you like, Move a little bit to hit a guy, and then it, and then your cursor's way, and it's like, how? Yeah. Why is it shooting up? I'm aiming at the middle of the screen. Yeah, it's it's frustrating, and and again, it is worth noting if for anybody that comments that, well, it's probably your TV, guys. I I've played this game on so many yeah. different TVs. We tested a lot, and we've played so many other light gun games on this yes. TV, and it's not an issue. And we also brought in other TVs. Yes. I don't. I, I'm sure if you like mod and do all that stuff, the issue might not be there. But if you're doing original hardware, we're letting you know that maybe <laughs> we're letting you know that it sucks. Okay. Well, I'm, <laughs> the problem is, is I, I want people to know that we have tested this multiple ways because I love the Dreamcast so much. I owe it to the console to do yes. that. This is the first console I ever bought with my own money. And I hate talking bad about things. Yeah. Especially like on games because I love them so much. Yeah. But I'm just being honest. And this is our experience with it. So you can still have fun with this game if you do the stuff that Robert was talking yes. about, but it is, it is there, there are some issues. A quick side note on Confidential Mission. I do think the game plays quite a bit better 
one player. I think a lot of the stuff we were talking about was geared towards playing it co-op. The one player experience isn't perfect, but I think it's quite a bit better than the co-op experience. Now let's move on to a game that for a standalone copy was Japan only, but in North America, you can get it on the Sega Smash Pack, and that's Virtua Cop 2. One of the best this, deals in dude, gaming. This game still to this day, I think CIB is like $18. For the Sega Smash Pack, which is incredible because in Japan, it's way more expensive for a CIB copy. Yeah, and uh, it has Virtual Cop 2 on it. And it's uh, a little different than the version that is, I think it's like the arcade port yes. versus the home console version on, on the Saturn. But with that, you get Virtual Cop 2, but you also get Sonic the Hedgehog, Golden Axe, Shining Force, Wrestle War, Streets of Rage 2, Columns, Sega Swirl, Never played that one. Revenge of Brown Shinobi, Altered Beast, Fantasy Star 2, and Vector Man. So $18. Yeah, dollar. less than 20 bucks for the wow. Sega Smash Pack, and it includes the Lightning game. Fantastic way to get it. And I'll say, as of right now, and this is it's gonna be kind of a hot take because I love House of the Dead. As of right now, I think Virtual Cop 2 is the best one. Yeah. This game is phenomenal. I've already mentioned it, but calibration is gonna take you a while and it's gonna be a bitch. But once you get it, yep. the game is great. Yep. If I'm gonna recommend out of the three games you're talking about, Virtual Cop has the dead and then Comic Dome Mission in that order. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this game is incredible. Yep. Now let's move on to another really fun game called Death Crimson Ox. Is it OX? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it's if OX or it, Ox. Um, there's no oxes in it. I, I don't, there might be, <laughs> just behind the screens. Yeah. Um, there was, the, the first game in this series was on the Saturn and that game sucked. I think this is the third in the series and this game is incredible. Yeah. They, I'm glad they, I'm glad they stuck with it they kept and, going, yeah. and made a game good. They finally wrote their hit song. Yeah, yeah, because this game is so, it's so fast paced, it's so intense, it's Did, so badass. This was released in Japan and North America only. Pal didn't even get this. Very but, House of the Dead, very, I feel like. yeah, yeah, very campy, but dude, I knew the first one so well and I hated it. And then I played this and I was like, holy crap, yeah. this is, dude, very hard. Though. Yeah. Because it's just boom, you're like, oh my god, I can't yep. kill everything. And then there's another Death Crimson game, Death Crimson 2. They didn't quite figure it out. <laughs> well, this game, well, okay, first off, it's Japan only. So it's a Japanese story, and this is more cutscenes and interactive, so good luck. <laughs> because it's Japanese only, there's just so much story, and then also there's walking around and figuring out things, mm -hmm. and it just, uh, it just sucks. Like, I'm like, uh, maybe if you spoke Japanese you might like it. But, but I just couldn't figure it out. No, there's a big mechanic, though, just from a light gun perspective. Everything you said, spot on. But Death Crimson OX, everything you're shooting feels like a beast. Yes. Like, it takes so long to take them down because they're these big creatures. They're big creatures in Death Crimson 2 and they go down in one shot. Yeah, it, all of them. Yeah, we played it we played them in reverse order, so that's probably our bad, but I was yeah. like, dude, this you don't feel like you're shooting anything. No, powerful. when you kill something in the in the, the in last ox, one, it, you're like, dude, I it's satisfying as hell. Yeah. And then in this one you're just like, this is boring. <laughs> yeah. Like it it's it's a little bit of an improvement from the first Death Crimson game. Still sucks. So I'm glad uh, I'm glad we have Ox. Yeah. Because that is the that's that that game is incredible. Totally so um, don't recommend that one unless maybe you speak Japanese and you like Japanese stories. But and it's then, time. Yeah. For the highlight of this video, and if there was a nugget to take away from this video, this, it's gonna happen a lot right about now. This is the hidden gem. Yeah. This this game is phenomenal, and this is the last Lycan game. That's it. This is the last one on the console. And at first glance, this isn't a Lycan game. And that's Demolition Racer No Exit. And at first glance, that is the best thing that could ever happen to you. Because the light gun <laughs> per portion of this game, it's pretty lackluster. It's fine. It works well, but it doesn't work. It's not super fun. Cars just keep coming. It's, you just it's, it's, shoot them in different it directions. It is kind of fun if you, it, you're you a sitting duck in the middle and cars are coming yeah. and you're turning and you're shooting. That's it. But it's a mini game tacked on to yeah. a racing game. And so we're sitting here and we're like, son of a bitch, we're gonna have to play this shitty ass racing game to unlock this just to complete our video. We also didn't even want to beat it, so we tried looking up cheats, and the cheats didn't work. <laughs> so we were like, God damn it, we have to play it. And what we found was I think the guys that made the Burnout games yeah. stole everything this game was trying to do. This game is one of the biggest hidden gem racing games for fans of Burnout that we have ever found, and that's the bottom line. Dude, this, this game is so goddamn fun. We 100% of this. Yes, <laughs> we 100% of this yeah. game, and before we started playing it, we were like, God damn it, and then we were like, yeah, like, dude, this, this game is phenomenal. I remember the next day you showed up and we're like, 
Let's go. Yeah, we have one more trophy to yeah. get. And so we 100%ed it, and then we unlocked all the mini games. So there's other mini games that are also in this game that are weird as hell. I don't know why they added it because this game, just as a racing game, could be great. But then they added the extra light gun mm -hmm. thing. There's there's weird like there's a pawn thing with cars. There's there's a there's a super like old school Rocket League style game. Yeah. Before Rocket League, obviously, yeah. there and there's like a tank thing. They had a lot of fun making this it's game. Wild, like I think the developers like had so much fun. And one reason I know that Burnout knew what was going on is because of Death from Above. Oh, That's yes. a thing Death in Burnout as well. Yeah, guys, do yourself a favor. Even if you're not buying it for the light gun game, because I wouldn't buy it just for that. This is one of the biggest hidden gems on the Sega and Dreamcast. What's and it's super cheap? And what's wild about this game is it's North America only. Yeah. It's so insane for the Dreamcast. Yeah. This is also available on PlayStation 1 in the PAL regions as well and then on PC. But for the Dreamcast, it's North American only. And why is it every, like we did in our Sega Saturn video, is the last game we talked about, it was North American only, we thought it was gonna suck, and now it's two of our favorite games. Yeah. Scud and <laughs> Demolition Racer. Incredible. Yeah. Dude, th this game is so fun. I'm gushing over it, not even for the like of reason. The like of portion's fine. Yeah, and it works great. It yeah, does, it works. It does. But like, for a Dreamcast game that is also a racer, and then with also mini games, on price charting, this game is less than $15. Yeah, it's that is wild. So mind blowing. If, check if, that out. If you're a fan of Burnout 3 or Burnout Revenge, <laughs> yeah. you got to check this out. And the out. music's great. It's oh, just, yeah, yeah, great soundtrack. It's so fun. What's a metal band that, that's in that? Uh, oh, there's an official band in it. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember. I forgot what they were called. It, it, it will be on the screen right yeah, now. Yeah, I'll show yeah, yeah. We'll figure it but, out. But. That's it. That's all yeah. the Lycan games that were released for the Dreamcast. Not much, but it wasn't around for very long. So, so is it worth it? Man, and this sucks to say this about the Dreamcast. With all the consoles we have covered where we have said it is worth it, I truly, truly love the console. Yep. The console is worth having. But as a light gun machine, your money's better spent elsewhere. Yeah, I would recommend um, going down a different console rabbit hole for light gun games. Yeah. Because there's less to offer here. I'm, Calibration's a bitch. You can have fun with it, but you're going to get frustrated just trying to set it up. Yeah, and we haven't even covered all the consoles we have that have light gun games, but... Man, if you had to rank order a man, you're, you're, you're probably going PS2 is top of the heap. I'm, I'm, I'm putting Sega Saturn up there, too. Maybe maybe PS1, Sega Saturn's right in that that pocket. And then, you know, you, then you get to that, that aren't tradi traditional light gun consoles. But they do have pretty good um, an adaptation for the Wii and for the PS3. Yeah, those, those have great consoles, too, and less bullshit. Yeah. You can just get in play. Yeah, so... Uh, man. I don't think that I mean there are games that I highly would recommend and they feel great on the Dreamcast yeah and then also Demolition Racer if you don't if you're like oh I, I don't want to jump into the get Demolition Racer and it's a racing game and it plays great yeah. like, you don't have to fuck around with getting it's, a gun or anything I mean if you already have a Dreamcast and you, you don't have other ways to play light gun games you can make it work but it's just it's just for us it has always been a pain in the fucking dick I, I can't 100% I I recommend the console because yes. of things that are not light gun related. As it pertains to light guns, it's, it's I just think your money would be better yeah. spent. It sucks saying yeah. I love light gun games, but and I, I love the Dreamcast, and I, yeah. I don't think it's worth it. I just because it's it's it took us so long, and I even while we were doing research and getting screen cap, I was getting like I was like, do we really have to do this? Well, like I was like, and on the same were, TV we did portions, the Saturn video, yeah. and the Saturn video, the shit was buttery smooth, and I'm thinking. Dude, oh, we're gonna yeah. roll into this, and and man, back in the day, the TV we have now as our main TV wasn't the TV that I had when I originally played some of the shit. I had a poor experience calibrating, but it still persists. I think it's because the console wasn't around for very long, and they probably rushed it and all this stuff. It's who knows. I would not recommend it, but I would recommend a Dreamcast for regular gaming. Yeah, it just sucks because it does alpha likens, but it's a poor experience. Yeah, it's man, it sucks because we did play and beat a few games yeah but it's just so like ah and it's such a it's such a pain in the ass to set up so that's that's the sega dreamcast light gun buying guide not worth it for light gun only yeah if that's what you're you're looking to do i go elsewhere yeah well beer reviews are back so i hope my voice cracked because i'm excited to talk about this uh this is through puberty yeah that's good this brewery gets me excited yeah 
This is Toppling Goliath. Yes. Big Suits is the name of the beer, and this is a triple IPA. Okay. Oh, man. Toppling Goliath is one of my favorite breweries. They're from Iowa, which is fantastic. Decora, beautiful Decora, Iowa. What do you think of this triple? It's really good, but I will put it in this pocket. Great brewery. I don't know what is really different about this from their pseudo Sues and that type of stuff. They have this common... And it's great. It's the best that I've ever had. They have this common IPA taste, though, that I feel like it's just subtle differences. I, I can tell that it's not a pseudo I can tell it's not pseudo, but it's so goddamn close. Yes. It's like, but they figured out what their yeah. what their brand is, what their flavor is. Yeah. So like, this is very similar to other IPAs I've had from Tommy Goliath. Yeah, not knocking it. And they're it. all amazing IPAs. Mm-hmm. But if you would have been like, if, <laughs> but they're not like. St- this is not going to be around for a while. So it's like, you can't ever compare them. Yeah. But if you did, you'd be like, these all taste the same. Yeah, or close. But yeah. it's not bad. Like, no. This tastes amazing. It's really yeah. juicy. You get a really good hop taste with a little bit of punch, but still smooth. Mm-hmm. Like, I love this. And I love how cloudy and thick it is. Yeah. This beer is, I Topping Life, fantastic. I love this beer. But also, it's not surprising me, but, it's, but I knew it was going to taste like this. Yeah, yeah. It's like a weird thing. Like, I'm not disappointed. But I'm just like, it's, it's good. Yeah, it's it's just like the 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 adventure comes in when topping toppling Goliath doesn't do an IPA. Yes, or an American like, Pale Ale because all those they just have the similar they have the same taste. But when they like pop off with like a sour or a stout, you're like, ooh, what are they gonna and do then, with that? And then that tastes way different. And you're but, like, okay. Great, it's still really good. Yeah, it's a great brew. I mean, if if you if you if anybody ever tried this, they and don't know about Top and Goliath, they'd be like, this is one of the best IPAs I've ever had. Yeah, that's but that's how all their IPAs. Yeah, are. yeah, they're that good. Yeah, I, so I've had a, every almost every single one of their IPAs. Uh, we're, we're kind of being little bitches. We're nitpicking, <laughs> but we hold them to like the highest. Yeah, standard. they're my favorite brewery in the state. Yeah, yeah, they're my, they're my favorite brewery, probably. Period. Yeah, probably hands down. Like usually, if I go to like a restaurant and like they don't have a lot of beer, but they have a they have pseudo sue or they yeah. have a top of the glass. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna, okay, I'm gonna get that. They're the best, uh, top of the heap. But man, some of their IPAs are so damn good, you just can't tell tell them apart. So kind of bad, but highly recommend. Yeah, <laughs> and unlike this beer. I would not recommend the Dreamcast for Lycan games. I hate saying it, but it's the truth. It's the truth. Unless you unless you can get in with like a modded console and using all this stuff and maybe you'll figure it out. But I just the, the games are kind of expensive. There's not many of them. Cal, it's just such a pain in the ass when the other consoles work so much better. Yeah, you also let us know in the comment section below, is your experience with the Sega Dreamcast and Light Gun games different than ours? Because I don't know what else we could have done. I have tried this on so many different TVs, and then to find other consoles working on those said TVs perfectly, and that one not, especially Confidential Mission. Yeah, that game. That one was just exceptionally frustrating. That game, because that that game should be perfect. Yeah. And I love the cutscenes and stuff, but there are certain things where it's like, I'm shooting! Yeah. (laughs) And it's not, and you're like, God damn, like, it sucks. And it's like it makes you not want to play it. Yeah, and I know light gun games are like B grade horror films from the story, and people may think you don't take them seriously. No, this is what no. started the channel is light gun games. You need accuracy. Yeah. And when you want to be good at them, and that shit's going on, it's no and fun. And trust so, us, we know our freaking light gun games. Yeah. We we've been playing them basically nonstop for six years. Yeah. <laughs> and then growing and then growing up playing them in the arcades yeah. and stuff. It was. Yeah. We know our light gun games, so we know when it's. So we know when it works and then when it doesn't. Yeah. And this is like 70% so works. Kind of a frustrating pain in the ass. But let us know if that's what you've experienced. We appreciate you tuning in and subscribing to the channel. Love us some Sega Dreamcast. Don't love yes. us some Sega Dreamcast light gun stuff. I mean, we kind of like, but the, we don't love. There are like Virtual Cop 2, House of the Dead, Demolition. Like there are. Uh, but it, but they, yeah, but if it's like, hey, you want to set it up? No. No, there's so many other things we'd rather say <laughs> yeah. than that. But nonetheless, we will catch you guys on the next episode of Gaming Off the Grid.